Hello, and welcome to your Adobe Audition course. My name's Nader, and I can't wait to teach you along with Phil, and this is going to be a breeze. So although the interface may look overwhelming at the very beginning, trust me, it's super simple and can be broken down into small chunks so you can understand it. So once you've launched Adobe Audition, this is generally what you will see. Sometimes you'll be asked to create a new project and you can choose either from an audio file or a multi-track session. But this is generally what your interface will look like. So let me go over what this interface is and what each of these small tabs mean. So first of all, this is your waveform. And when you make a new waveform, you may be asked to title it. So what you'll do is you'll just make a title and hit OK. So this is what it'll look like. A waveform, think of it as your studio space almost, or not the studio space, but think of your waveform as you and your microphone in an intimate setting, just recording an audio waveform. So what that looks like is, for example, I can hit record here. Hello there, my name's Nader, and I am recording on the waveform. So this place, waveform over here, will just be a place for you to make your initial recording. That's all you have to think about. You'll be able to edit within this waveform, so remove certain parts of the track, or if you want, all of it. And you'll be able to create as many clips as you like. Now, what's really interesting about waveform is that it's not cluttered. It's a small space for you to record and you can adjust your decibel settings and your volume. That's what waveform does. So think of it as two different parts in Adobe Audition. Your waveform is where you make your fine tune edits and your initial recordings. And multi-track is where you combine all of your recordings together. So let's get into multi-track. You can name your multi-track session whatever you like. I'm naming it session one. So as you can see, these are all different racks or tracks where you can place your own audio files. So if we go into waveform, again, we're thinking of it as two different areas, but they are connected. We go into waveform, we can make a new audio track. So we can say, hello, my name's Nader and welcome to the Adobe Audition course. And then I can go right into multi-track and I can drag the new waveform right into the track and voila it's over here it's in track one as simple as that so basically this is where you can make your recordings and your fine tune edits and they will be reflected within the multi-track so if i were like delete most of this track and only leave this little part at the end that will be reflected in my multi-track and I can undo anything with Command and Z. But we'll get into that later on. Basically, what you need to understand is that these are two different sections. They're extremely simple. This is where all your recordings are gonna be saved in the file section. You're making audio files. And in multi-track, that remains the same. The file section will host all of your files that you can drag and drop wherever you'd like. Now, tracks play simultaneously. So when I hit this play button, if I have a track here and a track here, they will play together. So that's the interface. Effects are found over here. Your volume can be moved over here. And, and don't worry, we're gonna get into the volume. We're gonna get into the effects. I'm just showing you the general outlook of what all this looks like and what it's used for. So it's as simple as that. This is where all of your files save. This is where your files go to be played and recorded. And you can either export, so save a file from this multi-track session, or from the waveform, so the single audio file itself. More complex projects require the multi-track. So when we get into podcasting and DJ drops and creating commercial voiceovers or using multiple voices, we are going to use the multi-track. If you just wanna make a quick recording and export it, we're gonna use the waveform. And one last thing, this is how you mute a track. This is how you arm the track to you know, work on its own. 
solo, and this is arming your track to record. So you can't record unless you hit R and then record here. But we're, we're going to get into recording. This is basically your entire section, your entire menu. Uh, tools can be found up here. And if you want to get into settings and files and looking at your clips and generating effects, they can be done up here in your tab up here. I'm using a Mac computer, but if you're on Windows, you can also use the tabs up here. Anyway, that's a rough overview of Adobe Audition. Let's get started.